Confetti Club, it is Pixie, and we are here in an interesting filming situation. Hello. We are here at my makeup vanity, which means one thing, that I'm finally doing the scene transformation. So a little while back this year, I did a hair transformation video where I switched up my rainbow hair. I used to have rainbow bangs and the rest was pink. And I got a lot of comments on that video of you guys noting that with this hair look, and my new uh, side part instead of the blunt bangs, I maybe am walking the line between seen and not seen. You know, um, definitely I will admit if you look up rainbow hair scene girl, I, I maybe, I've gotten to a place where I'm kind of tiptoeing the line. Yeah. We're just here to completely jump over that line. I'm doing a somersault and I'm gonna try my very best to transform myself into a scene queen. All right, so I have my hair and some accessorizing here to kind of give, I don't know, give the illusion of my regular self. Every day, don't we just try to give the illusion of our regular self? I'm just gonna slap my base on. This is not my favorite foundation in the world. This is kind of emergency foundation that I had to pick up at a drugstore. My recent um, kind of way of consuming beauty products has been just going through my shelves and like popping out anything that I have remaining, like any blush that I've ever gotten in a holiday set has been cycled through and I pop it into this um little flower shaped Z palette. Are you ready for it to be the ugliest thing ever? Holy crap. But yeah, I just, I'm trying to go through it much slower and also just go through what I have. They say makeup expires. I mean, if it's a pressed powder and it's only like a year or two old, I'm, I'm risking it. <laughs> There's nothing different I'm doing about my base here. It's just, some skin colored mush. Now, my research has been uh, Google Images and a little bit of Pinterest, and I found that <laughs> a lot of the makeup goes by like a pretty set formula. Same with the hair, same with the clothes. It's a very straightforward. Blush didn't seem to be like a no-no, but it's definitely not as severe as I do in my day-to-day. -day. I. I can't even tell you what blush this is. It might be makeup forever. Just a little ha ha. And a little ha ha. Cause I'm not blushing too much. Cause um, I'm too cool for that. I'm gonna call that light blush. Oh, also I'm keeping all of my makeup in this um, Ikea flower pot. I plopped them all in there one day to bring it from downstairs to upstairs. And then ever since I've been like, this is my flower pot of makeup products. So happy. I guess I'll do eyeshadow, yeah. So what color is my look? I have gathered up uh, as many black and white, like sceney kind of clothes as I have. And I'm gonna go through them later. You guys are gonna be with me on the outfit picking journey. I do have some very, very cyan blues, which are always fun. And if you see me looking in this mirror, it's cause I have oh, a little close up over here. Excuse me. What color do I do on the inside? I'll just do sparkly. I'll just do like a sparkly white. Okay, for the eyebrows, I feel like I, okay, normally on the day to day, I'll do this one pink to yellow and then this one green to blue. So each eyebrow is two different colors. I don't know, that's my daily. And I feel like <laughs> maybe that's not unlike a scene queen thing to do, but since I wanna do this different, I'm going to do some of those stark, um, like, I'm gonna give myself the middle school sharpie eyebrows of my dreams. I'm so nervous. Okay. Yeah! I don't 
think there's anything wrong with that. That's an eyebrow, for sure. That makes me look mean. I feel like the rainbow brows make my eyebrows look more friendly. <laughs> the, the, the beauty of scene style lies in the eyeliner, for sure. Oh, I also have something very exciting for lashes. Oh, let me go get that right now. So my wonderful friend that you might slash probably know, Toshi, aka Dolphy, has recently launched their very own line of vegan lashes. These are the Mega Moth lashes. And so they've sent me two pairs. One is like kind of a regular length, like cute dolly look. And the other is the iconic six centimeter Mega Moth lash. So I'm super excited to be putting these on my eyes. I hope I don't just flutter and fly away. Um, yeah, thank you so much Toshi for letting me be a part of your brand launch and this whole experience. I'm so proud of you and yeah, I'm gonna be trying these on as part of my hot scene makeover. I know these weren't around, I was gonna say back in the scene days. Not that scene is like a dead, you know, not to like offend any current sceners out there, but I just, I just wanted to include these as a way to kind of get to use them and play around with them. So, hee hee hee. God, I guess it's eyeliner time. Ah, that is where we left off, is it not? So I think I'm gonna start at the very middle, like the very little tear duct. I'm pretty sure this has to go all the way around my eyeball. Okay, I maybe made a home. <laughs> maybe I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I know it's not on my waterline. Is that what I was supposed to do? I don't have a pencil to, can I put liquid eyeliner? No, you can't, that would be bad. That would just, that would just bleed into my eyeball, would it not? When I get this on my eye by accident, it covers like the entire ball. Sorry if that's super gross, but I don't think I should put this on my waterline. Okay. I'm putting mascara on this right away to see if it's gonna work. Cause right now I feel like that just isn't right. Okay. We're gonna say that's an eyeball. We're gonna say that's one eyeball and we're gonna freaking try to make the other one look like it. I don't know if that's Dr. Drekken or some sort of rejected Ruby Gloom character, but it's what we're working with. Highlighter wasn't really a thing totally was not super duper a thing. We were not like, first of all, we weren't blushing our noses, which is the thing I do every day now. And we are like highlighting to the gods here and here and on my brows. And that wasn't super a thing in makeup back then. So honestly, I think this is pretty accurate. I need a lip of some sort, but when I was looking through all the different pictures of scene makeup, usually the lip is very like unpronounced or nude or just like light? What do we got in here? Ah, this will work. This is a, I think this is a Too Faced lipstick I got as like a birthday thing at Sephora. Yeah, yeah, that works. Mom, 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 mom. The most satisfying part of my makeup routine is putting all of the things back into the little flower pot when we're done. 10 second tidy. Ha ha ha. I am so excited. Oh, I'm gonna go for the biggies for sure. Um, but actually first I'm going to change my outfit because when we start hair and once I put on these mega mega lashes, uh, getting this turtleneck up and down is probably gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna do a quick little outfit change, not into the end outfit, but easier outfit change. It's mothy moth time. So that one goes on this eye. Oh my God, I'm gonna be a queen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's very exciting. Yeah, okay, maybe not the most um, routine scene experience for some folks in like 2008, but this is pretty epic. I think Toshi also wanted me to mention that if you get these and if they're a little bit bent from shipping or if you just ever need to reshape them or you feel like making a funky shape, um, you can just use a hair dryer and the heat from it will help 
mold the little lashes back into place. This is too much fun. Okay. Why was that so easy to put on? <gasps> Toshi, this is a commercial for you because these lashes are epic. <gasps> Why was that so easy? I just plopped it on and it was like, okay, I'm home. <gasps> oh, okay. Steve's not home, he's gonna come home. I told him to be prepared for scene Jill, but I don't think he's ready for a mega moth babe scene Jill. My neck just cracked twice. It's hair time, this is exciting. This is the, the whole reason we're doing a scene transformation. So obviously I have my extensions in. If you guys weren't aware, my natural hair only goes to about here-ish. Okay, I'll take out the top two. So the bottom two that I always put in are just pink. Hello because the bottom layer of my hair is just pink, hello. And I can, I can clip them in in like different arrangements every day and wear buns and braids and ponytails. And I think that's why I like this hair color situation so much is that like, I never get bored. So I think what I have to do is like a little, <laughs> a little never shout never moment and I want all the fluffy hairs on top and I want to kind of just be like Ugh. and I mean <laughs> let's be real in in the scene style I feel like your your extensions don't necessarily have to blend you know you're not really trying to convince people this is your real hair it's all about the vibe oh 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 I think that might that might be it should I tease it? Oh, I gotta get the flat iron going. If you want a cute and convenient way to store your flat iron or any ironing things, I picked up this doll stand at a thrift store and it's pink and it's very dusty right now. But yeah, I got this forever ago and it's metal so you don't have to worry about it getting burnt or melted. Okay, there's a bang thing that's happening that I'm not getting. How do you get them to go inwards? so swoopily. Oh god, no, every time I do that I become more scene! <laughs> okay, speaking of cute scene girls, of course there is a wiki how for everything. And this one, <laughs> I have to say, is very incriminating. I don't think that's the right word, but like, this is very much like, <laughs> too, too, that- <laughs> Use your words, Jill! I find the pictures in this article m paired with the language an extreme call out and it's the funniest thing I've ever read. How to be a cute scene girl. Bruh. Adopt a new attitude. You don't need to completely change who you are, but if you're the gloomy or rude type, know that this is not acceptable in the kawaii scene society. The Kawaii Scene Society? You must have one or more of the following attributes. Cuteness, of course. Sweet as sugar. Playful. Childlikeness, aka childlike wonder. Childlike happiness. Childlike giddiness. Childlike mischievousness, etc. You must be kind toward everyone you meet! Me in the mirror. <laughs> Be an optimist. Have a positive outlook on life! Okay, this is number one on the how to be a scene girl page. Okay, the next one is to have basic hygiene! Stop it. Never let your hair become greasy. Um, please don't look at my scalp. Start incorporating colors like pink. Lots of it! Blah, 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 blah. Fashion, blah, blah, blah. Certain amount of black is fine, but try not to have too much of it. Rainbow is also very good. <laughs> Did I write this? Jesus Christ, Kay, I can't read all this. If you feel like pausing this and reading this entire article, you can just look up how to be a cute scene girl. Oh, get kawaii scene hair. I'm working on it. Please help me. Oh, okay. Two ponytails. I did that last time. Braids of any size. Okay. And any cute hairstyle is good. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's a very specific hairstyle. Layered up top and either slightly or majorly teased. Okay, this is actually helpful. Make your hair look messy like you just rolled out of bed. Don't ask why. Just comply. It's sexy in the book of scene. This is by the scene like priestess. Okay, so I'm going to take one more little rainbow friend and I'm actually gonna clip him in here up top to try to get that volume that we're talking about. 
that epic up top volume. Rawr. Oh yeah, rawr and a half. It is time. Oh, it's this. Yeah, I don't think I'm never shouting sure, nevering enough. I've been smoking the green since I was only 16. You guys, is anyone else? Okay, I think that, I think I'm finally getting it. I think I'm finally getting the gist. I had to move the part over and I had to never shout never it. Oh my God, I'm a scene girl. Ooh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, yeah, look at my hair. I think it's time that I go pick out an outfit. Alrighty, so I have a few options here. I pretty much just raided me and Steve's closets and found anything that was like black or a little more edgy than like that. So I have this 6% shirt here that I actually got in a lucky pack many moons ago. I think if this fits me right, cause I find all of the scene girls are in this very specific silhouette of like tight ass little tiny little band tee and then like whatever on the legs, it barely matters. And as long as you got a tight ass little band tee that you wear all the way down to your hips, which I'm not excited about, um, then I feel like like it did like there was not a lot of like big poofy skirts or dresses. It's like shirt and then whatever on your legs. So I'm gonna mess around with some of this stuff and you guys are going to see the final reveal. <gasps> I suppose this is the look then, my friends. I tried, I know I just said scene girls don't really do like floaty skirts, but straight up, like I'm trying my best. I have little shorts on under this, but like. <laughs> I literally looked up plus size scene girl because I feel like, I, I know not every scene girl had the same body type, but on Google images, like you would be surprised. Maybe this needs to come down. Yeah, belt on my hips. This comes naturally to me. Oh yeah, no, I don't like this at all. Oh, but I think that's the look, unfortunately. Huh. I um have added some stickers here in attempts to make it look like I have some facial piercings. D did I succeed? I feel like I kind of might have been able to fit in as a scene queen. Maybe some more hair accessories. This is a whole moment, like the blue making a trip from all the way back there, damn. I mean, rar though. I mean, you gotta admit, like rar. <laughs> there is one final, one final step I must take. These tattoos are too wholesome. They need to be edgy and mad. Oh my. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite part of the video. Well. Thank you guys very much for watching. I feel like a whole other YouTube channel right now. I'm giddy. Childlike wonder, childlike happiness, childlike giddiness, childlike giddiness. This is fun. I didn't think this would be this fun, but like, honestly, ra ra nya nya. I love you, dinosaur. I hope no scene people are offended. This is just a celebration. I really hope you see it as that. I think all alternative fashion is cool and fun and creative and expressive. And here we are. So much fun. Also, don't forget to check out the Mega Moth Lashes. These are so fun. I've been hanging out for like three or four hours now amongst filming and taking breaks and stuff. And like, they feel like nothing. I'm not just saying that, like they're comfy. I might not even take them off. This video's Future Confetti Club member is KT Chan Art on Instagram, who did this super cute, like cartoony style portrait piece. I love this so much. 
I gotta bring back those double ponies. I, I guess the WikiHow article said I could have used them for this look, but um, thank you so much for this art. I think it is very, very pretty. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one's over. Bye. Uh, <laughs> <f> <laughs> <roar>. <laughs> oh my God.